Hello everybody, it's to you, John up here at Goodwill. I was gonna come here today, but uh, I dropped Pam off at work and uh, she told me to go here, so here I am. One thing I got is camera. It's the uh, Sun 600 for the uh, Polaroid. Usually when you do that, they open. There we go. Yeah, no film again, but pretty clean. I usually get about twenty dollars for these. It used to be thirty, but they've gone kind of common. There's a certain um, place on eBay that pretty much buys them all when they put them up there. I'll have to ask if I can say their name or not. Um, some little baby shoes. Try Tigers. They're only 99 cents, so I couldn't, I couldn't resist. So they are Walmart, but I don't plan to sell them for a lot of money. I'll probably go on Poshmark and eBay. And the last item for sale is uh, this Logitech Harmony Remote. It has a charger. It's all taped in there, so I can pull it apart right now. But hopefully it works. I don't see why it wouldn't, probably just, uh, if anything needs, needs to be charged, needs a battery. Um, these can go anywhere from uh, 15 to to $100, depending on which one you have. This was the Harmony 1, so that's a fairly new one. And also, I might even uh, try it myself, because we got a lot of uh, stuff at home that I might work for. <clears throat> and the last thing is one of those hanging plant things. Pam wanted one, so finally found one. She wanted a cloth one, that was metal, but... For three bucks, you can uh, use that one until we get the cloth one. So, as there have been a parking lot stairs of me for uh, being insane while talking to myself in the car. Later, hey everybody, showing to uh, do a video here. How do we do with pictures? We do have a few of these before, and it's changed a little bit over the years. But this seems to be the best uh, way if you're gonna do pictures for eBay, especially because that's how we got everything set up. We also use pictures on Poshmark and Macari and wherever we decide to sell. You want to start with a white background and you want it big enough to cover the entire background of your of your object. Right now I'm doing clothing so if you're going to do the clothing from the last haul this is what we're doing. If you're going to do clothing you want it to have the white background around your entire mannequin and you want to use a mannequin. You don't have to. A lot of people just lay it down on a bed or a table or a floor but we like to use the mannequin because it looks more professional. And you get that, although I got a shot right here right now, you get more of a white background when you square the picture in. I think I stepped on one of the switches. Yeah, there we go. I stepped on one of the switches, so I got that shadow. But if you go from the other side here, I got four lights. These are uh, lights I purchased off of Amazon. You get two for 25. Um, at the last time that I bought these, there's the uh, brand name on them. There's other brand names, other prices, other different stands you can get. You got the black stands, and also um, we got the the back stand for this. It doesn't come with the background. That was purchased separately for I think eleven dollars on eBay. And you can get, you can get these on eBay. Sometimes on Macari. I just happened to get mine from Amazon because I wanted to get them quicker. And over here, we have a poster board. It's the kind they use like in schools to do like, you know, different projects and that. What we do with this is we put the item on here. It's got a little dirty in the middle right now, but it was white. <laughs> and we have these two lights here. And you want to use white lights. Don't use yellow lights or lights in your room. If you can use lights from outside, that would be the best. I know right now it looks bright outside for our windows, but um, it's really dark and dreary and rainy today and probably about six months of the year That's what it looks like up here. So we have to use a lot of lights The other the other time our windows are too small to get the light <laughs> So we're uh, working on getting a different place possibly next summer But for now we gotta work with what we got. So anyway, we put them on here and we do pictures of tags and Measurements and any close-ups on anything like if there's any damage to the to the um, thing you're photographing 
And also we use that for like flat lay items. Uh, earlier in this video I had a haul that had a few items in it, like this here. It was one of the items that I had in the haul. And what we do with this kind of stuff, since you can't really put on a mannequin, because we don't have a, a foot mannequin, <laughs> especially a baby one, is we're going to take the price tag off, of course. And then we're going to take pictures of it this way, this way, and then close-ups on everything so you can see exactly what it is. That way, if somebody goes to look at this item and say, maybe I forgot to put the size in there, it's right there in the picture. I'm also going to measure it with a ruler. And uh, I use uh, different things over the course of our time. But might as well grab these now, some read with them. I have a ruler that I bought from our local Michael store. Just a wooden ruler. It's got light, nice big numbers on it that you can see in the pictures. And then over here, I have a picture frame. Now, probably thinking, what is this for? If you ever have a piece of clothing that has a tag inside and it's all curled up and you can't get it to say it's flat, what we do is we get as flat as we can and we put this over it. We get right up on it, take a picture of it. And you can brighten up the pictures afterwards. Uh, it's best to have the, the most white background as you possibly can. That's what eBay says. I have at least six pictures. Uh, we try to use all 12 if possible. If you have to repeat a picture, just crop it in in a certain area. That's how we do that. On uh, an upcoming video, I'll be showing how we do a listing. I try to teach Pam how to do this as well. She lists on Poshmark, and she can list on Etsy, and she can list on Macari, but for some reason, the eBay one is just a little bit um, taunting for her, so we're gonna do a video in the future to show her and you guys how to uh, do that. But I gotta get these photographs done before my battery dies, so uh, stay tuned. Hello everybody, it's Gia John up here at Goodwill. I was gonna come here today, but uh, I dropped Pam off at work and uh, she told me to go here, so here I am. One thing I got is camera. It's the uh, Sun 600 for the uh, Polaroid. Usually when you do that, they open. There we go. Yeah, no film again, but pretty clean. I usually get about twenty dollars for these. It used to be thirty, but they've gone kind of common. There's a certain um, place on eBay that pretty much buys them all when they put them out there. I'll have to ask if I can say their name or not. Um, some old baby shoes. Try Tigers. They're only 99 cents, so I couldn't, I couldn't resist. So They are Walmart, but I don't know if I sign up for a lot of money. I'll probably go on Poshmark and eBay. And the last item for sale is uh, this Logitech Harmony Remote. It has a charger. It's all taped in there, so I can't pull it apart right now, but hopefully it works. I don't see why it wouldn't. Probably just, uh, if anything, needs, needs to be charged, needs a battery. Um, these can go anywhere from uh, 15 to $100, depending on which one you have. This was the Harmony 1, so that's a fairly new one. And also, I might even uh, try it myself, because we got a lot of uh, stuff at home that I might work for. <clears throat> and the last thing is one of those hanging plant things. Pam wanted one, so finally found one. She wanted a cloth one. That was metal, but... For three bucks, you can uh, use that one until we get the cloth one. So, as everybody in the parking lot stares at me for uh, being insane while well, talking to myself in the car. Later, hey everybody. Showing a, do a video here of what we do with pictures. We do have a few of these before, and it's changed a little bit over the years. But this seems to be the best um, way. If you're gonna do pictures for eBay, especially because that's how we got everything set up. We also use pictures on Poshmark and Macari and wherever we decide to sell. If you want to start with a white background and you want it big enough to cover the entire background of your of your object. Right now I'm doing clothing, so if you're going to do the clothing from last haul, this is what we're doing. If 
you're going to do clothing, you want it to have the white background around your entire mannequin, and you want to use a mannequin. You don't have to. A lot of people just lay it down on a bed or a table or a floor. But we like to use the mannequin because it looks more professional. And you get that, although I got a shot right here right now, you get more of a white background when you square the picture in. I think I stepped on one of the switches. There we go. I stepped on one of the switches, so I got that shadow. But if you go from the other side here, I got four lights. These are uh, lights I purchased off Amazon. You get two for 25. Um, at the last time that I bought these, there's the uh, brand name on them. There's other brand names, other prices, other different stands you can get. You got the black stands, and also um, we got the the back stand for this. It doesn't come with the background. That was purchased separately for I think eleven dollars on eBay. And you can get, you can get these on eBay. Sometimes on Macari. I just happened to get mine from Amazon because I wanted to get them quicker. And over here, we have a poster board. It's the kind they use like in schools to do like, you know, different projects and that. What we do with this is we put the item on here. It's got a little dirty in the middle right now, but it was white. <laughs> and we have these two lights here. And you want to use white lights. Don't use yellow lights or lights in your room. If you can use lights from outside, that would be the best. I know right now it looks bright outside for our windows, but... Um, it's really dark and dreary and rainy today, and probably about six months of the year that's what it looks like up here, so we have to use a lot of lights. The other, the other time our windows are too small to get the light. <laughs> so we're, uh, working on getting a different place, possibly next summer. But for now we gotta work with what we got. So anyway, we put them on here and we do pictures of tags, and measurements, and any close-ups on anything, like if there's any damage to the, to the um, thing you're photographing and also we use that for like flatly items uh, earlier in this video I had a haul that had a few items in it like this here it was one of the items that I had in the haul and what we do with this kind of stuff since you can't really put on a mannequin because we don't have a, a foot mannequin <laughs> especially a big one is we're going to take the price tag off of course and then we're going to take pictures of it this way, this way, and then close-ups on everything so you can see exactly what it is. That way if somebody goes to look at this item and say maybe I forgot to put the size in there, it's right there in the picture. I'm also going to measure it with the ruler. And uh, I use uh, different things over the course of our time. But let's look at these down, I'll summary with them. I have a ruler that I bought from our local Michael store. Just a wooden ruler. It's got light, nice big numbers on it that you can see in the pictures. And then over here, I have a picture frame. Now, you're probably thinking, what is this for? If you ever have a piece of clothing that has a tag inside and it's all curled up and you can't get to say it's flat. What we do is we get as flat as we can, and we put this over it. We get right up on it, take a picture of it. And you can brighten up the pictures afterwards. Uh, it's best to have the, the most white background as you possibly can. That's what eBay says. I have at least six pictures. Uh, we try to use all 12 if possible. If you have to repeat a picture, just crop it in in a certain area. That's how we do that. On an upcoming video, I'll be showing how we do a listing. I try to teach Pam how to do this as well. She can list on Poshmark, and she can list on Etsy, and she can list on Macari, but for some reason the eBay one is just a little bit uh, taunting for her, so we're gonna do a video in the future to show her and you guys how to uh, do that. But I gotta get these photographs done before my battery dies, so uh, stay tuned. Hey everybody, up here at Salvation Army in uh, Ish or Marquette, sorry. Um, Today is a, uh, yesterday and today is family day at our Salvation Family Store, Salvation Army Family Store. <coughs> Sorry. And um, that means all the clothing is half price. So it doesn't matter what color it was. Because usually they go by these barbs on the clothing. Um, this one here would not, not have been half price otherwise. It would have been four. 
but today it's two. It's a Victoria Jones, which I just got it for the pattern. See, there's like snowflakes, snowman. I thought that was pretty cool. These are all gonna go in the wash when I get home. Doing our laundry today, I throw it with our, our wash. That's a puzzle, air puzzle. Uh, it was in the men's section, but I think it might be a woman's. Well, it could be either, I guess. <clears throat> Next up, we got a Brooks Brothers. This was a big brand name on uh, eBay a few years ago. Still sells well. Every time I put Brooks Brothers up there, it's gone in about a week or two. And if I can get a hold of the other here. I'll bring over here. <laughs> and North Face. Basic uh, button up short sleeve. And we got a Skechers. It's a Pearl Snap. I've been looking at this one for a while here, but never never been in the sale price. But today it was. And last one is a new without tags. <coughs> Flash shirt. I am going to wash them though, because the clothes from here just seem like they have a prep stars bell. Because they've been here a long time. <coughs> Hopefully you can understand and hear me good, because I'm kind of choking today. I don't know if I got a cold or what's going on. So, uh... That's uh, my little haul from Salvation Army, so. Oh, I'm packaging up the, just, the you just sold. They're a Harry Potter pants. Yeah. So, hey, we got 20 hours from them. That's cool. And of course, we pay the shipping on top of that. Yeah, and then we got three packages out of wood. Yeah, we got, we sold a fair of markers, uh, for uh, four dollars, not a big thing, but clearing out the school stuff. Uh, the one on the bottom was a was a fashion book. A fashion book, uh, a shirt. Yeah, it's a big shirt. We got uh, almost three dollars for that. <clears throat> and then a Sons of Liberty shirt, we got fourteen. So not bad for uh, Monday sales. Actually, Tuesday now. Yeah, it's Tuesday now. But those are those ones are Monday sales. This one just sold just five minutes ago. Yep. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first time I have a chalupa. And I got chicken. <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna put this on mine. No. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. This is Pam and John. Uh, we're out uh, out in the boat and we're, we're going to Goodwill today and see if we can find any kind of goodies. But it's a beautiful day. Uh, well, hopefully we can find something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Well, we're going to try. Uh, we got some stuff to photograph at home right now, but we want to see if we get anything more. I've been here three times this week already, but we'll uh, see if we have anything. Yeah. So stay tuned and and see if we have a haul video. Good. Oh, we're out here at Goodwill, and we're going to see if we can find some items, possibly clothing, possibly not. And I'm trying out a uh, program, but for some reason it's getting some of my words wrong, so if they're not right uh, and you don't understand everything, that's uh, going to happen. But uh, we're giving it a shot. So this is the translation of what I just said. It's not, not exactly accurate. For some reason they put the word hospital in there. I didn't say. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know if that even works, does it? We're out here at Goodwill. We're going to see if I can find some items. Pasta Clothing Hospital. Yeah, see a that. triangle probe. See, it's, it's got to it's gotta recognize your voice a little better. So we'll work on that and try and get it better for everybody. So uh, uh, we're going to go out and see if we can find anything. Hello, everyone. Pam and John back. Uh, here we are. We just went to Goodwill. And I'm in Michael's. I'm gonna go see if I can find some kind of some kind of um, decorations for my my leave thing in the living room. So here's some uh, decorations. Hey, there's some flowers. That's what that's what I'm looking for. 
Oh, these are pretty. I like those. I wonder how much these are. That's a whole bundle. See if there's any uh, individual ones. But just want to get a few of the fall leaves over there. So I'm gonna go to Michael's and see what I can find. Let go. Hello, everybody. We're Pam and John back uh, with a haul video. We're gonna try this thing here. This is what we got from Goodwill. I got a tour shirt. This was uh, a tour for the Allman Brothers Band. I don't know what it's worth, I didn't look it up. Got a couple of CDs. It's a Led Zeppelin, Mothership, and a Pink Floyd. These might just be for me, but I might sell. Oh! Uh, the, the Mothership one is worth about 20 and this one is about 14 Nice! American dollars. Not much today. Uh, Pam got some thank you cards for Poshmark, I believe. Yeah. I got this here for two bucks. It's worth about 40 It's a, for a dog kennel. Aww! You put that over that. And I got myself a jacket, which I'll, you'll probably see in future videos. And we'll see if any of that tries to celebrate. And I'm gonna, I got some, um, we went to stop the Dollar Tree, and I'm working on that right now. Mm -hmm. I'm putting all my lead things together, so once it, once it's done, I'll, I'll have a video on it. Okay, we'll see at the end. This is not exactly, but this is as close as we can get to it right now as the translation to what we said, what I said. Karena itulah yang saya dapatkan dari Goodwill. Saya mendapat kemeja tour. Ini adalah tour untuk Alman Brother Band. Saya tidak tahu apa nilainya. Saya tidak mencarinya beberapa CD Alonso Fam Mothership dan Pink Floyd mungkin saja bagi saya sendiri. Peran ibu itu benar tentang 2014 Hai Erika. Musim panas hari ini kartu ucapan terima kasih untuk posmak saya menjalankan serif atau dua. Kota pukul 12.40 itu untuk memulai kembali candle anjing. Saya mendapatkan jaket dengan semua video keselamatan kebakaran. Saya akan mengatakannya dengan benar. Okay, hopefully that will help somebody. Some of the words were a little bit off, but... I hope you can understand what it was. Get, yeah, get the idea anyway. Yeah. So, uh, try what try those so that's our little mini haul. Pally working on our flower things for a while. I'll be doing laundry and uh, possibly doing some photographs. Yeah, it's getting a little late, but we'll, we'll see if we get them done this week. They're not that many. Probably, probably I'll take about. Oh. Yeah, cut me off. <laughs> so I'll put that back on. Agunan mini haul Ali mengerjakan barang-barang bunganya untuk sementara waktu saya sedang mencuci. Dan mungkin membuat beberapa foto. That's right, Anzar. So, later. Eh?